Hello everybody, in this next video, we're gonna take a look at deception and how to add deception to a young player's game and help them evolve into a more deceptive player as they get older. When we talk about deception, I like to look at it in three different layers. So layer number one would be our head. So as we're coming in, turning our head to the direction that we want to fake to. If I'm coming in the corner, I turn my head this way so that player might think I'm gonna go this way. The second layer would be our stick and our puck. So now I'm gonna add my head, add the stick and puck, and the third layer would be our feet. If we can add our head, our stick and our puck, and our toes going this way, so our feet going this way, the player that's coming behind us or that's trying to defend is definitely gonna think we're gonna go that way. He doesn't know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. So my head, my stick, and my puck are going this way, my feet are going this way, and then I can cut back and try to gain that time and space and elude that player as we're going through. So we'll show a couple quick examples here of just simple things that we can do. And it can start as basic as coming down the ice like this with my stick, and just showing, throwing my eyes. Let's say I'm on a two on one. I throw my eyes toward, towards my pa where I'm gonna make that pass. I open up my blade like I'm gonna shoot it. And then right away I turn and then fire the puck. So a little fake and then come through. If I was on my forehand side, same thing. I turn my head to where I'm gonna pass it to. Come over the puck and sell it. Bring it back and then quick little shot. We'll show you a couple examples of this. And I'll keep coming back with a couple different things that you can add to your practice or your drills to help your players get a little bit better at being deceptive. So on the first one here, Kevin and I will go down. We're gonna pretend we're on a two-on-one. So Kevin will be on my, my winger. We're on a two-on-one. There's a nice big imaginary defenseman in the middle. So we're coming in here. I'm gonna look at Kevin here, looking, fake, and then shot. So again, we're coming in a little more speed now. So if we're coming in a little more speed, we're coming in here. I'm looking, I fake, and then right away shot. So I'm selling to that goaltender. So going in slow here, I'm selling to that defenseman and that goalie that I'm gonna pass it and then turn that hand over and then right away let that shot go. Now if Kevin was on his side, okay, now he's gonna do the same thing, but he's gonna fake a pass to me by going over the puck. So looking at me, going over the puck and then pulling it back. So if I was coming in here, I'd be opening up, he'd fake, pull it back right away, and then quick shot. So we'll add a little bit of speed to that. And same thing here. So Kev's gonna come in a little quicker. I'm his winger looking for that pass, fakes, and then right away turns it over and then shot. We'll go one more time, a little more speed to it, and same idea. So coming on that two on one, turn it over, and then right away quick shot. There's a ton of different areas to add deception to hockey, obviously. You can use it in the corners, on the wall, anytime you're in any kind of one-on-one -on -one battle, just just moving your eyes. There's tons of examples in the NHL of players just doing this, and that defender moves their stick a little bit, and that creates a lane of space, right? Just simply just showing it, and then moving it to an open area. Right now, we'll just show one more example here of a simple one-on-one, -on -one where Kevin or I will throw our eyes, our stick, and our feet, and then cut back across against where we were coming, and try to get a shot off doing that. So if Kevin's coming, or if I, I'm coming down on Kevin on a one-on-one, -on -one, so I'm coming down here, and I come in and I sell like I'm gonna go this way with my head, my stick, my skates, and then bang, right away I can cut back and then get that shot off. So if we add a little speed to that, the key to this though is as I'm coming in, I'm coming in real slow right now, but if I had some speed to it, I would throw my eyes this way like I was gonna maybe go this way, my stick and my toes are going this way, and I want him to transfer his weight over on that left foot or maybe even get him to cross, and then right away I can cut and then get my shot off as I'm coming through. So if we're coming down here, and I kind of sell everything this way, bang, and then come off this side, and then get my shot off there. Right, we can obviously do it on the other side as well. So if I'm coming down this side, again, almost easier on this side, just opening my blade like I might chip it or dump it to go get it. So I come in here, I sell everything going this way, and then tap, bring it across and then come in for a shot on that side. I'll have Kevin demonstrate that side. So if Kev's coming down on me here, sells it that way, and then cuts right across, and then shot on net. For those little deceptions, just opening our stick, just showing that blade like we might dump a puck or chip a puck. Doesn't have to be in the offensive zone, could be on the rush. If you're coming through the neutral zone, faking like you're gonna dump it, pulling it across. But adding that deception, whether it's just your head, or your head and your stick, or your head, stick, and feet, 
right? Any one of those three layers is gonna be able to help throw a player off. If you can combine all three where a player gets good at turning their head, their stick, and their uh, puck, and their feet, it's gonna add way more deception and way harder for players to defend.